everyone, welcome back to Rideshare Hub. My name is Allie and Dylan asked me to come on here and make a video, so here I am. <laughs> I'm a bird mechanic and today I'm going to be taking you along on a day in the life of a bird mechanic. Before I get this video started, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that like button to show some love. All right, let's go. Okay, so as a bird mechanic, the first thing I would do is look for a broken scooter nearby and these are all of them. I think I'm gonna go to this one though. So, I'm going to scoot on over there and try and find it. Let's go. So then once you're at the scooter, this is the one we're looking for, you're going to scan it in And then this screen will pop up but what I always do is I just back out of the repair for now and then it's in my tasks so then now I will bring the scooter back to my house to fix it okay now that I have the scooter at home I'm going to start observing it and trying to figure out what's exactly wrong with it try and see if there's a couple things wrong with it or just one and then continue the repair and I'm going to go back to the screen that I left off on last so let's check it out and see what's wrong with it okay so right off the bat I already noticed that I'm going to be taking off this sticker that somebody decided to slap on there and the other thing is these are sticking. This is the brake lever and this is the throttle and they are both sticking. So what happens and why they stick is because these handle grips over time get smushed in and then that causes these to stick. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that as what is wrong with the scooter on the app and then go ahead and fix them. Okay, now we're back on the safety inspection screen. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that the brake lever is broken and the throttle is broken. And what else did we say? We will say that the neck, because it has the sticker on it, and then we will click start repair. So now it is going to want me to take pictures of all of the things that are wrong. So right there it says, damage photo one, take photo of brake lever. So I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of all of these really quick and then continue. So to unstick the brake and the throttle, what I'm going to do is just simply twist and pull out the handle grips until you see like a significant gap in between the handle grips and the actual brake and throttle. So now there is a significant gap like that and they are not sticking anymore. Now we're going to remove this ugly guy. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and click that all of the items I marked are properly repaired and then click mark repaired and now I need to take a series of pictures again of all of the repaired things alrighty and I rode this earlier so I know that all of those things do work and this one actually does not have a bell so that doesn't count for this one some of them have bells and some of them just never came with them. Like that one has a bell, 
This one never came with a bell. That one never came with a bell. This one never came. That one has a bell, but it's broken off. My boyfriend is actually a charger, so these are his. So, yeah, I'm not just going to go ahead and fix those for him if they're not marked damage because I'm not getting paid for them. So, I'm going to go ahead and click certify. And by the way, you guys, if you want to see a video about being a bird charger, then leave a comment down below and I can also make another video about bird chargers because I live with my boyfriend and he's actually who got me into doing birds and you can't do the same, like you can't have two chargers in one household. You can only have one charger and one mechanic. You get what I mean? So I had to be a mechanic and he is a charger. So I have a lot of experience and knowledge with both. So let's go ahead and finish this. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it glitches out. So that says pending. Sometimes it just says that right away. I don't know why. I think it's because they're reviewing the repair. Yeah, see? Now when it says charge, that just means that I've fixed it and I can charge it. And when you know that you have fixed it, when you click on it, before it would say continue repair right above here, but now, as you can see, I don't have that option because I've already repaired it. So now we are going to go ahead and find a release spot. So there was no release spots last night. Um, you cannot release birds past 5 p.m., so now it is the next morning, and I'm going to look for release spots and as you can see there's like none they're all in Santa Monica hardly any near me in Venice but I do have this one claimed right here and now we're gonna go drive there and release the birds okay so now we're here at the nest as you can see the blue dot is our location and then the black oval is the nest so this is how you set up the scooters and then what I'm going to do now, more details, release, scan the barcodes, where the heck is it? There's that one. Now we're going to hit release. There we go. Okay, so then that means it works. Now I need to take a picture of them in the nest. And that's it. So then after you do that, the way that you can check that it worked properly is by going to your earnings. And I got paid $30 for dropping off those two scooters. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much the whole process. Um, some days are going to be better than others. Some days you're going to get a lot of scooters. Some days you might not get as many. Some days the fixes are going to be super hard and super irritating and time consuming. Some days the fixes are going to be easy. Some days you're going to have a mix of both. It just really depends. It's all different. Depends on the day. However, I really do enjoy being a bird mechanic. So if you enjoyed this video, I have a channel that's going to be linked down below. I make bird videos twice a week at the minimum. I try and post even more than that. So come to my channel and check those out. Also leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more videos like this on this channel and I can make some more about being a bird charger, maybe talk about more things about being a bird mechanic let us know down below if you would also like to be a bird mechanic it's super simple super easy all you have to do is download the bird app sign up to become a charger then once you have that done you can message support and ask to become a mechanic just as simple as that well i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks a lot bye